Safety meetings. Important for everyone. Well, good morning, Technician. This is Tacmoto coming to you once again from the torn up streets of Edmonton. Yeah, I'm running through a construction zone right now. But uh, that's not what today's topic is all about. Uh, today, we're going to be going over how and why the Super T. How did I get this bike? What was the story behind it? Why did I choose the Super T? Why am I riding it on a day that looks like it might be caca? That ah, looks not bad over there. And that's where we're going. So the story about how the Super Tenere came to be in my possession uh, is both long and short. Uh, the long part is I decided a number of years ago that I was looking at doing some longer distance trips. Now I didn't want to buy a cruiser style bike, you know, the lazy boy recliner of the motorcycle world, you know, Honda Gold Wings, you know, stuff like that. It really didn't suit my personality. So I needed to look at a motorcycle that could do trips of that nature and uh, still not be a cruiser. Um, well, that's where the adventure bike came in. I started looking around at these things. Of course, I saw you know, the BMW GSs. I saw the V-Stroms. I saw the Super T. And I saw that there was a huge variation in the market in terms of what you're getting for your bang for your buck. Now. After doing demo rides for three years, I'm just going to crack this open because I'm starting to fog up just a smidge. Uh, after doing demo rides for about three years and riding the Ducati Multistrada, the BMW, the Africa Twin, the V-Strom, the, uh, the Versus, all of those adventure bikes I get my hands on, even took out the Aprilia one. I'm not even sure what the hell that one was called, but I took them all out. I started doing a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison with all of them. Okay, this is how much the bike costs. This is what I'm getting for my dollar. Okay, now, long story short on that aspect, the BMW and the Super T kind of came in at the very top of that list of items. You know, um, major items were price, reliability, um, ease of maintenance. Uh, what else was there? Total cost of ownership, right? And uh, and there's a whole bunch of other items as well. Uh, I can go into it in another video later on if you guys uh, if you guys write down in the comments that you want to see you know more specifics on uh, on how I kind of based my selection. But like I said, it did come down to essentially the BMW um, GS, the 1200, and uh, the Super Tenere. Now. One of the major reasons it came down between these two bikes is because, well, A, the BMW is kind of the standard. It is the, 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 the top bar, if you will, on the ladder of adventure bikes. And the Super Tenere to me kind of checked all those boxes, right? The shaft drive, the reliability, uh, cruise control, heated grips. Uh, and yeah, I know you can get a lot of this stuff on the aftermarket, but I didn't want to go to the aftermarket. I wanted to buy a bike that was ready to go day one uh, as soon as I bought it, right? And the Super T kind of checked all those boxes, same boxes as the BMW. However, there was one major box that the BMW did not check off, and that was the price. So I don't know if you guys are aware, but the BMW here in Canada kitted out similar to my Tenere is in the range of about twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars, which is significantly higher than the the sixteen grand or so that I paid for my Super Tenere. Right? Obviously, there's little extras, PDI freights, blah 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 blah. Um, and no, I did not buy the ES model. This is not the ES; this is the ABS. Uh, and I can go into that in just a minute. I'm just waiting for a clear spot in traffic. Woo! Stall. How embarrassing. Stall. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. That was caught on camera, so no laughing. Um, that was actually my first one, believe it or not. So you guys, you guys got the, uh, the expose there. Um, I forgot where I was, but uh, yeah, so, so the price point was really good. Now, where did I pick up my bike? And as you guys may or may not know, here in the Edmonton area, there's several dealers that actually sell 
uh, Yamaha products. Now I bought mine at Riverside, and I have to give the guys at Riverside Motorsports the address and all that stuff is, uh, well, you guys can see it, I'll put it on the screen for you. Um, Riverside is a fantastic dealership, I gotta say. And uh, I was speaking with uh, a couple gentlemen there, um, everybody from the sales staff to the finance guy, the whole shebang, excellent set of dudes. Uh, if you guys are looking for a Yamaha, a Suzuki, a Honda, what else do they sell? KTM. Um, well, these are sell Victories, but Victory is not around no more. But if you guys are looking for those kind of bikes, I highly encourage you when you go and make your selection uh, and you're looking for the best bang for buck, go down to Riverside Motorsports. Let them know that Tac Moto sent you. Depending on who you speak to, they might be like, who? I don't know. Uh, but then point them to this video. <laughs> um, the guys over there were absolutely fantastic. Uh, from the time that I said, let's do it, to the time I had the bike in my hand, was not even one day. Uh, this Super T was in a crate at a warehouse somewhere that they have. And I made the decision, I pulled the trigger, I signed on the dotted line. By two, three o'clock that afternoon, I was riding home with my Super T. So the service you get from these guys is absolutely fantastic. Oh, is that, these are raindrops on my helmet. Oh, this is gonna suck. I'm wearing jeans. This is absolutely the worst gear. I have to buy some ADV gear because this is horrible gear to, to ride in the rain in. But anyways, they, uh, they are absolutely fantastic and I don't want to turn this into a, you know, a, a <laughs> A pitch video for Riverside but definitely go check those guys out uh, I highly encourage you to do so yeah there's a Grom I don't know why you'd be riding a Grom in this weather <laughs> whatever but uh, yeah so I picked up this Tenere because of that exact reason this is as close to the benchmark as is possible for basically nearly half the price uh, Yamaha is known for its reliability. Uh, I've watched a, a number of videos as well about uh, folks doing um, long distance adventure rides and by long distance I'm talking Alaska down to the southern tip of Chile. So we're talking north to south over all kinds of terrain, all kinds of weather, all kinds of everything and I don't think I've ever heard one video saying anything negative about the Super T's in terms of reliability. In fact, what I do recall is most of these videos saying things like, well, the only thing I had to do during this whole journey was change the oil and change the shaft drive. Really? That's it? That's all you've done? You rode from uh, Alaska down to the southern tip of Chile, and that is it, right? Um, another major factor, of course, was also the warranty side of things. Uh, if you guys are not aware, and I've, you know, I spoke to a, a, a BMW sales rep about this um, at another dealership here in the city that sells the Beamers, who shall not be mentioned. Uh, I spoke to them and I asked, okay, well, what happens if I'm down in Mexico? Or I'm down in Costa Rica and my BMW GS needs some warranty work done? And he says, well, as soon as you leave the US and Canada, you're on the hook for your own repair work. You can then submit an expense to BMW uh, in order to get the money reimbursed. Uh, and I just kind of sat there scratching my head. I'm like, well, BMW is an international company. Their warranty should be international in my opinion. Now, of course, if, if anyone knows differently, again, just write down in the comments, let me know. But this is, this is another one of my major deciding factors is that if I needed to have some work done, I just wanted to go into a Yamaha dealer and say, hey guys, uh, stuff's broken. I need you to fix it. And then I'll be on my way. Right? No money out of my pocket because I'm going to do these trips on a budget. If I have to shell out you know, several hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or whatever it is for repairs to the bike, even though, yes, I'm going to get reimbursed when I return home, that's money that I do not have any longer for the trip. Right? So stuff like that could literally end a trip uh, even though you are getting reimbursed. Right? Uh, but then again, assuming you're paying 30 grand for BMW GS, you probably have the money to cover that and still go on your trip. I don't know. I personally do not. I went with the Yamaha Super Tenere, and I have been loving this motorcycle ever since I picked it up. Um, I'm almost through the break-in period. Uh, I'm hopefully going to be doing some trips here on this Canada Day weekend, uh, going out of town a little bit, uh, doing some more highway out to some lakes, maybe out to Jasper. I don't know. But we'll see. 
we will see. But that, uh, that in a nutshell, folks, is why I decided to pick up the Yamaha Super Tenere for myself over all the other bikes. Um, if, like I said, if you want a more detailed breakdown as to why I didn't choose, you know, bike A, bike B, bike C, whatever, uh, over the Tenere, then put it down in the comments below and I will endeavor to make another video for you guys detailing specifics uh, of why I didn't take, uh, you know, the Versus or the V-Strom over the Super T. Uh, so that pretty much covers today's video guys if you guys are uh, interested in hearing more be sure to hit that like comment and subscribe button gotta check for photo radar because those buggers are everywhere these days uh, be sure to hit that like comment and subscribe button hit the little bell notification to let you know when I post a new video uh, they're gonna be coming out all over the place uh, I'm gonna be starting the breakfast shootout video shortly as well so I'm looking forward to that <clears throat> at least my stomach is definitely looking forward to that and it will go from there so in the meantime, ride safe, be safe, and next time I see ya, Tacmoto out.